Yes, that's right. Lie down and try to relax. Stay as still as you can, and if you can sleep, even better. I am starting the petrification process now, and soon you will begin to feel the flow of time fading away. Right, now while that's active, let's start the second stage. What's with all the fiddling? Curses! That wasn't supposed to happen! What are you doing to Captain, me? Captain, come give me a hand over here. What's going on? Is... is that normal? Is he supposed to look like that? What did he do to my face? Shut up and get over here now! My beautiful Your queen will be furious face. if the Divine Crusader crumbles into dust before we've even started. God damn it! We must try again quickly. It's got to work this time. I've fallen into a deep slumber where strange dreams inhabit my thoughts. If the spell worked properly, I should wake up in the third era. Oh, God. Why is everything so green? Like, I can't see anything. Where do they want me to go? What do they want me to do? Despite having become a stone statue, the ravages of time take its toll. I feel my life force slowly slipping away as the effigy slowly erodes. Wait, who's wanted? Oh, me! I'm wanted! Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, I need the torch. Like, I need whatever light I can get right now. Am I just gonna die in here? In the year first era, percentage of your effigy was destroyed. What? Wait, what? Ugh. So, looking through these, here's the thing. Like, I don't remember what the state of most of these are in the Third Era. But I do know Vana. Because Vana is where everything started. Vana is where Knights of the Nine starts. So we know it's preserved enough. Like, I think the only thing in Vana were skeletons and ghosts. There weren't bandits or anything like that. So, I'm guessing... That's supposed to be where we go. I'm guessing that's supposed to be our kind of like safe haven. It's, um, you know, bringing things full circle in the end. Vanua, you say? Interesting choice. That settlement was abandoned several years ago, as it was sinking into the sand. Oh, it's going to be underwater. Then again, that might mean it will become forgotten and remained undisturbed. Did you visit the site in the Third Era? Yes, I found Pelinol's effigy there. Well, that effigy certainly wasn't created by us. Oh, that's right. So it would seem that what you saw was actually your petrified self. Oh, there we Find go. Find it is, then. I'll tell Captain Arian to escort the alien mage Melanir there. They'll be waiting for you outside the settlement. Okay. I'll also ensure that all the belongings you placed in the chest in your tent are transferred there. On that word, it's time for us to say farewell to you, Lord Crusader. I'm sorry for the unfortunate circumstances surrounding your visit, but I am certain that your presence here was the will of the Eight. May the gods watch over you no matter where or when your travels take you. Because that's one of the um, things that people say about time travel. Or it's one of the uh, spins that people put on time travel is the idea that um, when you're t if you time travel, you can't change anything. That everything is kind of set in stone. So whatever happened happened so canonically speaking according to this mod like you were always uh teleported to the past and then you became that effigy like i was seeing events that i didn't know happened yet i probably didn't explain that super well but hopefully you kind of get what i'm uh throwing down with that I forgot about the effigy to Pelinal, because it wasn't Pelinal's effigy, it was mine. But I had no way to know that yet, because it hadn't happened to me yet. It had happened in the world, but I hadn't experienced it yet. 
Alright, so we're gonna go to Vana. We're gonna go inside. I don't know if it's gonna be inhabited. It might just be ghosts and stuff still. Uh! Oh, alright. Don't mind my broken feet. It's fine. Upper Vana discovered. So, you're the one everyone is describing as Pelinel's protege. Yes, I'm the one. Malanir at your service. I am the one who will attempt to petrify you for four millennia or thereabout. Are you ready to proceed? I'm ready. Good. Let's proceed to the spot that you wish to be petrified. You'll need to find something to lie on that will withstand the ravages of time. Oh, and Some that... Some kind of stone slab or altar that's raised above the floor would be ideal. And that I'll chamber... I'll try my best, but keep in mind that such a long-duration petrification has never been attempted before. I can't guarantee you'll awaken in the correct year. Or even the correct century. Lead on. I shall follow you. That chamber... Um... Is, uh... Sealed in anyway. There's a landslide, there's a dirt, and... So we know it'll be safe. Oh, hey! Wait, now your beard is back? You did not have your beard before. Hi. Captain Arian at your service. No, 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 never mind. You had your beard before, I remember, because you had the double mustache. Bye. But your beard disappeared previously. Now, here's the thing. It's going to be a little bit of a trek through here, because I remember we had to trek... Through Vana a bit. Oh, but since it's not destroyed yet, maybe not. Like, Vana was more of a trek because it was destroyed in the uh, third era, but now that it's not destroyed, it's just abandoned. I shouldn't need to climb through as much stuff. I shouldn't have to go through these kind of like roundabout ways. Or well, I wouldn't think so, but we'll see. And all I gotta fight are rats, so I'm fine with it. <laughs> this is real, real easy. Oh, do you think Pelin will be upset just using my Sword of the Eight Divines, Sword of the Crusader, just to... <laughs> oh, just to kill some rats? Oh, I can just imagine his severed head screaming at me. All right, here it is. This stone slab would be suitable for our purposes. If you wish to be petrified here, lie down on the slab and I'll begin. Uh, yeah, let me just save, even though I have a good feeling about this one. Yes, that's right. Lie down and try to relax. Stay as still as you can, and if you can sleep, even better. I am starting the petrification process now, and soon you will begin to feel the flow of time fading away. Right, now while that's active, let's start the second stage. Is. That wasn't supposed to happen. Captain, come give me a hand over here. So this happens either way. Is, he gets very pissed is that either normal? way. He's bad. Is at he this. supposed to look like that? Shut up and get over here now. Your queen will be furious if the Divine Crusader crumbles into dust before we've even started. We must try again quickly. It's got to work this time. All right, let's try this again. Let's see if I can survive the green. Hello, alien citizen. Yeah, it's just, it's this terrible, sickly shade of green and I can't see anything. First area, you're 244. First area, you're 245. First area, you're 246. 252. Two fifty-five. Oh man, we're just gonna be here 
Oh, uh, for the longest time. Because I don't think there's anything to discover. I don't think there's anywhere else to go. Can I... I can't go through the doors at all. So I'm just... I'm here. Oh, third error. We're up to the third error now. Okay, okay. 429. 433. Here we go. Ooh. I've woken up in the up upper... Or the vault in Upper Vana in its ruins. It appears that Maliner's spell worked. I should check outside to see if I've returned to the correct year. Are these my things? Oh god, that's everything, yeah. Well, I can't afford to take any of that, so I'll be back for all of that later. I'll take Umbra. Alright. <laughs> Oh, let's get outside. Let's see what year it is. I gotta find Naomi. Vilya can finally return to me. I'll bring her back. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Wait, is that one of my crusaders? I think it is. It's one of my knights. I'm trying not to hit him. He came to see me. He came to save me. Drakius. I can't believe it. You've actually returned, just like they said you would. The others will be so relieved to hear this. Sir Thedrit sent me here to find you, and there's much more important news that I need to share with you. Oh, yeah, no, I don't know who he is. And you are? I am Drikius, one of the new members of the Knights of the Nine. I joined when the enslavement of Argonians began. How did you know how to find me here? I didn't. But Sir Thedrit says that you've disappeared mysteriously more than once, and that you always return when you're needed most. That's why he sent myself and others all over Tamriel to search for you. It had crossed my mind that your prophesied return was just a story to boost morale. But it turns out that he was right all along. Uh, slavery of the Argonians? Much like his alien ancestors, Gareth views non-elf races as inferior. He started by rounding up the so-called beast races, Argonians and Khajiit. When the Imperial Legion started knocking on doors in my hometown of Leowin, I fled and joined the Knights of the Nine. I'm sure that orcs will be next, and once they're under control, he'll start to enslave humans as well. I'm amazed he didn't start with humans, frankly. Important news, you say? Much has happened in the years since you left. It's been a full year? Gareth is now the Emperor, and has ordered the enslavement of Argonians and Khajiit. Well then. The Knights of the Nine are being persecuted. But they are proving more resilient than Gareth ever imagined. You'll find them at Fort Nickel. Persecution? The first thing that Gareth did on becoming Emperor was to declare the Knights of the Nine traitors to the Empire. Since then, we've been hunted by the Imperial Legion. Those of us who were caught were executed their bodies hung up as a warning. Executed? Are the others all right? You'll be glad to hear that the original eight that fought alongside you at Garnus Malastar have all survived. Hmm, have they now? Unfortunately, some of us did not. Simply wearing anything with a red diamond on it is enough reason to be executed for treason, it seems. Ironically... These executions turned public opinion against Gareth, and the Knights of the Nine came to symbolize the rebellion against his oppression. Uh, Gareth is Emperor? Gareth somehow got his hand on the Amulet of the Kings. He relit the dragon fires and proclaimed himself Emperor of Tamriel. Between state-sanctioned slavery and persecuting the Knights of the Nine, He's already proven to be quite the tyrant. Much of Tamriel wants him deposed, but few are willing to speak out for fear of being arrested. 
See, this is almost like a little bit too much for me personally. Like, if we had come back and stopped Gareth before he became Emperor, sure, but I feel like this almost changes too much of Oblivion. If that makes sense. Like, this changes too much of like, the world of Cyrodiil, the world of the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels that way, but for me it's like, ah, eh, it's where I'm like, hmm, a little too far, just personally. Yes. News of the persecution spread quickly, and anyone wanting to fight against Gareth sought out the Knights of the Nine. Sir Thedrith was glad to accept them, of course. And the Knights of the Nine is now a small army, with the original eight knights being the commanders. We're waiting for the right opportunity to strike at the Imperial City, and bring Gareth to justice. With your return, I think the time is right. Alright, tell me of Fort Nickel. We move around a lot to avoid the Imperial Legion. But our current hideout is in Fort Nickel's North Tower. It's an abandoned fortress west of Way. Alright. Well, lead the way. I'm going to head back to Fort Nickel to inform Sir Thedrit of your return. Head over there as soon as you can. See you there. I don't like this, see you there. It sounds very like, oh, I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Oh, Lord Crusader. I'm a lusty Argonian knight of the nine. I'm just, I'm fall. I'm just running through. Screw it. He's running, I'm running, everybody's running. Also, and I'm sure there's probably comments about it, but the, um, the spell, the healing spell that I thought was good, uh, I just misunderstood it. I thought that it was literally... The thing of, oh, heals three points of health, like, per second or something for 30 seconds. No, it's heals three points of health over the course of 30 seconds. So over the course of 30 seconds, I get three health back, and that's it. Which, frankly, is terrible. I've exited Vana and should try to locate Naomi's body before looking for the rest of the Knights of the Nine. With luck, the Adabal has not been taken. And that would be at Fanakeskel. Yeah, alright. Fanakeskel, here we come. Which it should just mark that, right? Yes, it does. Oh, see, I know what's what. Now I know where I'm going. Now I know what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, since people probably commented on how that spell was garbage. Yep, I realized it. I learned on my own that it was garbage. I just misunderstood what it was. Like I said, I thought it was heals three points of health per second for that duration, but no. That would have been badass. That would have been overpowered, but no. Once I get my restoration to 75, I can use heal superior wounds, and that'll really, really help me out. But until then, I should be fine. Oh, I just, I see people. I see people. Who's there? Is that a table? There's a table out here? Oh, who's that? Is that just a bandit? Is there just a... Yeah, Imperial Legion soldier fighting a bandit. Oh, my sword doesn't have enough charge. I mean, it's still on fire, though. Hello? Stop right there! For crimes of treason against the Empire, you are hereby ordered to surrender immediately! Oh, okay. Uh... Jesus! How much gold did that say? I'm resisting arrest. Then pay with your blood! Oh no, alright. Like I said, I get where the mod author was going with this whole thing, but... I feel like... Actually making Gareth the Emperor rather than we stop him before he becomes Emperor is a little... It's a little much. I guess the thing if they want there to be uh, stakes and whatnot, but I feel like stopping Gareth before it happens is still stakes enough. Oh! Oh, hi there. 
That red glow you see, I think that's just from the armor set, like the upgraded armor set after I got Gareth's, uh, well not Gareth's, uh, after I got Pelinol's blessing, I got Pelinol's heart. Yeah. Also, I didn't realize that skeleton was gonna disintegrate, that's why I was going for the power attack. Oh, hi there. Because let me see. Yeah, see, I mean, the. This is the stone tablet I would have been uh, resting on. That's the stone tablet that I would have been on had I stayed here. But I guess, yeah, it could have been destroyed. Like, just because the platform's there doesn't mean that whatever Whoa. was on it would still be there. George Poke! Everyone shall fear the George Poke. Naomi? Naomi? Oh, I just realized it pointed me somewhere else. I just realized the marker was pointing me somewhere else. I just immediately came to the same room, hoping that she would be here. That's my fault. Oh, but then again, it's like, her body wouldn't be preserved for 4,000 years. Also, where is this pointing? Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. Never mind. Well, like I said, I immediately just went, okay, yeah, I'm supposed to go down here. Because that's, I was thinking it's like it's going to put her exactly where the portal was. And that's just my fault. That's my bad. Back outside we go. Also, she would just be a skeleton now. Like, she wouldn't be, like, physically here anymore after 4,000 years. Like, there's no way to preserve her body, like they did for me. Aw, oh, man! No Naomi? I just thought about that. Wait, 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 what's that? What's that? I see something. Uh. What's this? So the Seal's gauntlets. Oh, what? <gasps> Gareth's armor exploded off of him, too? Oh, is that how he was able to return to the present, and he just didn't think to take the armor with him? Guessing, yeah. So it really was Sotha Seal's armor then. I thought it was a lie in the end. Alright, well, let me find all the armor pieces first. Uh oh. I found a skeleton that doesn't look like it's been discarded by anyone yet. Could this be Naomi's remains? Yeah. It is. I've taken the Atabal from my, from around Naomi's neck. There's no indication of how I might use it to stop Gareth, but I feel... I seem to feel Naomi's presence whenever I'm touching it. I should rendezvous with the Knights of the Nine at Fort Nikel now. Man. I thought we had something. I thought this was going somewhere. Oh, man. Now I'm sad. Meanwhile, Vilia is just sitting and laughing. It's like, you shall be mine. Oh, you shall be mine. You can't have anyone else. It's just me, Vilia. Vilia always wins. Vilia always gets what she wants. That's the lesson that we've learned today. So here's the thing. It says here that the weight of all these items is one, but they're definitely not. So I'm at 644 right now. At a 655. If I pick that up, I'm at 662. So the weight is absolutely off for those. Well, time to summon Vilya and give her shit to carry. She's gonna just go, Where have you been? I haven't seen you in 4,000 years. And I'm gonna say, Vilya, I don't know how you got back here, but we're just gonna roll with it. Oh, <laughs> you're back. Welcome. Oh, thank you, Vilya. Oh, you are back. I'm so happy to see you. Man, it's so fitting. There's the dialogue for that. It's very, very fitting. Sure. All right, what are you at inventory-wise?
Wait, I'm at 662 out of 665. She's not at 662, is she? She shouldn't be, no. I'm gonna give her a couple things, and then we should be good to go. Alright, we're all set. You're gonna wait here, and I'm gonna go I on and find everyone that I need. So I'm gonna go find the Crusaders, I'm gonna go find the Knights of the Nine. You stand guard in case, uh, in case Gareth comes back. Also, can you bury Naomi for me? That'd be great. Fort Nikel. Oh, there's a... Oh, never mind, he's not friendly. Man, I got excited after oh. dealing with Morehouse. I'm like, oh man, friendly minotaurs, right? Nah, this crazy talk. Wait, who else is casting spells? Oh, you! His brother, cousin. Maybe sister? Probably not sister, but... Probably brother, cousin. Hello. It's my pleasure. Please continue. You're goddamn right it's your pleasure. Walk with the Nine, Commander. I was thinking of Sir Caridus' action. Lord Crusader, once again you've made it back, surviving what most would consider certain death. Drekius informed me of your arrival. We've already drawn up plans to take over the Imperial City and remove Gareth from power. All we're waiting for is your command, sir. Tell me of Castle Relais. We occupied it for a short while after your disappearance. The Imperial Legion then showed up one day and ordered us to vacate it. No sooner than we had left the building, they surrounded us in the courtyard and tried to arrest us. That's when we knew that something was amiss. What of the Imperial City? Gareth ordered the Imperial City sealed off. The entrances are heavily guarded and barred from the inside. There's no way of getting in without a small army and heavy siege equipment. Fortunately for us, we have some contacts on the inside who will open the gates for us when the time comes. Tell me of the Imperial Legion. The Imperial Legion was thrown into turmoil when Gareth proclaimed himself Emperor. Most of them believed that they were duty-bound to serve whomever relit the dragon fires, whether they liked the person or not. That's fair. Others believed that some sort of trickery was involved and refused to recognize him as Emperor. But the pivotal moment was when Gareth ordered them to round up minority races, and that's when the fighting began. Many Imperial Legion soldiers left in disgust, while others are now covertly aiding our resistance. Tell me of your equipment. Even while on the run, we have had benefactors wanting to see our resistance succeed. We have a supply of high-quality steel that Sargius uses to make this heavy armor that we're wearing, as well as shields for the new members. Sir Gaiman and Sir Gukimir were also able to obtain a shipment of legendary Skyforged steel swords oh. from Skyrim, with which to arm their squads. Skyforged steel swords, you don't say? I hear they're quite unique. What about Gareth? I don't know how he obtained it, but he has the Amulet of Kings and used it to relight the dragon fires, claiming the Imperial Throne for himself. There are rumors that his Amulet of Kings is a fake, and that he is not a legitimate successor to the Septims. Well, I could tell you that much. But while the dragon fires are burning, he has support from most of the Imperial Legion and many citizens, especially the Elves. Well, what is your plan? While we have enough soldiers to make a well-planned attack on the Imperial City, our biggest problem is Gareth himself. The Amulet of Kings gives him power over man and mare. His voice instantly charms lesser minds, and that's how we came into power so quickly. We can't simply march an army into the Imperial Palace, as they'll end up turning on themselves as soon as he uses the Amulet's powers. We could sneak a select few into the palace, but remember that Gareth single-handedly defeated eight Knights of the Nine at the Priory. But with your return, we finally have a champion whose combat prowess matches his, and that's what my plan revolves around. He can paralyze what me, What we'll you know. do is create a diversion while you sneak in via the Imperial Sewer System. 
When you're ready, let me know and I'll start a detailed briefing of the operation. Begin the briefing, sir. I'll be leading the Knights of the Nine to the Imperial City as soon as the briefing ends so we won't be able to pause the mission. Are you ready to begin? Yes, I'm ready. As you command, Lord Crusader. I'll go through with you what you'll need to do as soon as I've briefed the Knights. Well, here's the funny thing. Sir Knight, I would This means, uh, no Oblivion Crisis. The Oblivion Crisis is on hold. Like, that's kinda nice, at least. That's something. Knights of the Nine, assemble! Your kind words His death comfort. still troubles me. I'll try to follow your example. Thank you for lending me your ear. Blessings of the Nine. Hey, hey, quiet in the back. Today back is there. the day that we have been preparing for. Today is the day that the Divine Crusader has returned to lead us to victory. Thank you for taking the time. Today to we will storm the Imperial City to depose a tyrant who threatens all free people with enslavement. With duties to our attend. primary objective is to create a diversion so that the Divine Crusader can reach the Imperial Palace. Allies within the Imperial Legion will unbar the gates at the Talos Plaza and Temple Districts. We will enter and set up a defensive formation, holding these choke points for as long as necessary. Although we will be outnumbered, the streets will prevent the enemy from flanking us, allowing us to hold our ground against a larger force. Once we're in position, the enemy will be drawn towards our location, leaving the other districts relatively unguarded. The Divine Crusader will take this opportunity to enter the Market District from a secret passage and make his way to the Imperial Palace. The enemy is a mix of Aurorans, Iliads, and Legion soldiers. Some Legion soldiers are allies and will have a red diamond painted on their armor. Do not attempt to confront Gareth if you encounter him. He is much too powerful for any of us to fight. Instead, focus your efforts on keeping the enemy away from the Divine Crusader so that he can deal with Gareth. By the end of the day, Gareth will be removed from power. His ability to influence man and mare will be broken. And without their leader to bind them here, the Aurorans will be banished back to Meridia's realm. May the Nine watch over you all. Knights of the Nine, move out! Now that you know how we'll set up the diversion, here's what you'll need to do. You'll need to head to the north exit of the Imperial Sewer System. The gate there may be locked, so make sure you have some lockpicks with you. I got them. Follow this map that I've given you and wait at the Market District entrance. Once we've started the attack, I'll send a runner to let you know. We'll hold our positions for as long as we can to give you time to find Gareth and defeat him. May the Nine watch over you, Lord Crusader. We do have a small army. Look at this. Good day. It's good to see you again, Sir Aroldor. Walk with the Nine, Commander. I shall lead the Nine and walk ahead of them. But I guess that, too, is walking with them, so... Well, not... Okay, he said walk with the Nine. He means... The gods, not the Knights of the Nine. My bad.